guys, Ms. Dawson here. Today we're going to talk about um, the Civil War and Texas's role. So, in our last video we talked about what led up to the Civil War, and now we're going to talk about kind of what happened during that war. So in 1861, that's when war officially started. It was at a place called Fort Sumter, which is in South Carolina. And the North was called the Union, and the South was called the Confederacy. <clears throat> and they started a battle. So they thought that since the North was so much bigger and they had more states and they had the support of the president that they were just going to squash the South and the war was going to be over very quickly. But that wasn't what happened. I mean, it actually lasted for four years. So I want to show you kind of a map of what it looked like and some things that were happening during the war. Okay, so I'm going to flip my screen around. This is a rough, Miss Dawson drew this. This is a rough drawing of the United States. Okay, here's Texas. Down here is Florida. Up here would be Maine. Over here is Washington. Now, during this time, it's the 1860s, the nation pretty much ends right there. So this is the area that we're talking about. This wasn't there. Well, it was there, but it, it wasn't participating in the Civil War. So here's Texas. Let me close that up. Here's Texas. And we were part of the Confederacy. Now, the Confederacy, I'm just going to draw a rough idea, was down here. So this is the Confederacy. And up here, I'm going to put it in blue, this was the Union. Okay? This one had the support of President Lincoln. This one was led by a person named Grant. And this one was led by a person named Lee. They were both the the generals leading the armies, okay? So Texas was down here. Something that the North did to hurt Texas was they set up these things called blockades. So a blockade is an effort to stop ships from going in and out of a port. So over here in Texas was Galveston, and we sent a lot of our cotton, we sent it out through our ports. Well, the Union set up blockades, so we couldn't send out anything, and we couldn't get in anything. So that was a big issue that Texas faced, okay? Another issue was a lot of the Texas men left to go fight in the battles. So 90,000 Texans died during the Civil War, 90,000. A lot of women and children had to take on responsibilities uh, that the men used to have, like running farms or running plantations. So, during the war, President Lincoln does something called the Emancipation Proclamation. So, emancipation means free, and proclamation is something that a president does. So, while the war is happening, President Lincoln says, I declare that all people are free. No one can have slaves anymore. Now, the Confederacy doesn't listen to it because they're like, we're not part of the United States anymore. We don't have to listen. Well, the Confederacy started losing these battles, okay? Texas started losing these battles. Uh, they still wanted slavery, but it wasn't exactly working. So after four years of fighting, four years of fighting, the South has to surrender, so General Lee and General Grant meet at the Appomattox Courthouse in Virginia. Virginia is like roughly over here. It's kind of in the middle of where the fighting is. And he's, uh, Grant is forced to surrender. That means, I mean, ugh. Lee is forced to surrender. Grant is declared the winner. That means the Union is the winner. That means that they are no longer divided. They are no longer the Confederacy. They are all part of the United States again. So they said, you're not breaking away from us. You're joining back up with us. You must listen to our laws. So that is what happened during the Civil War. And because the South had to be part of the United States again, they had to listen to federal laws. And one of the federal laws was that slavery was over. Okay. There's so much more to talk about for the Civil War, but that's just a very brief explanation of it. If you have any questions or you want to do more reading on it, uh, just let me know. And I can maybe make a, another video with more details. But for now, that was the Civil War in a nutshell.